his relationship with the kids is just a very special one, very, very unique, um, a lot of trust, and a lot of great role modeling. Chris is an adult who can relate to children, all children, because he's a little bit of child at heart, but because he believes that children are humans. The kids love him, as do all of us. And he is not because he, you know, he teaches history better than anybody else, or he, he builds things better than anything else, because he cares. More important than how well a teacher knows the subject material is how well they know the students. And that's something that, that Chris does. He gets to know the students, he cares about them, he's authentic. And I think that's what they are drawn to. He's the life of the party. He's the guy you want to hang out with. Uh, but he's also the guy you want on your side in a tragedy um, every day because he is full of love and compassion. In November of 2016, I had a liver transplant. As Chris returned in September of 2016, I noticed, could kind of notice I was in trouble. And um, Chris um, came to me and said he's willing to give me uh, half his liver. And um, it kind of speaks volumes to Chris about his, his care and concern about doing the right thing. When I think highly of a student, I tend to write in their letter of recommendation how they care about the right things. Um, and Chris fits that to a T. He gets the man for others. You know, he gets the what judge education is about. Uh, he gets the real heart of service. And the things he did with service trips and all the time he put in uh, was another level. He proved to me that you can be someone who is funny and cool, but also religious, also kind, also loving, and just all-around good guy. These students um, just reminded him again with this award of how special he is and as a friend you know it, you're just happy for, for a friend when that happens. He taught me how to be a better person. I'm grateful for that.